Okay, so think, it's looking like peaches. So I think that'd probably be best. All right, so I'm going to assume Toma, yep. Anden, uh, peaches, obviously. Uh, Rios, do you, um, Darius, I assume. Darius, do you want to help out with the crane? Absolutely. Okay, so that's three. So, Rios, choose between you or Anden to help push the crane over. Um, who's got the highest strength? Alright, so Rios' strength is nine. And Anden's strength is ten. Alright, so Anden. Okay, so, um, Peaches, you're going to be making the roll. Let's talk about bonuses. You've got your plus four. Uh, and then there are four who are helping you. So that's a plus three. So that's plus seven so far. Uh, plus three from uh, Chris Telekinesis. So that's a bonus of ten. Roll it. Okay. So Your difficulty number is, is 18. It's a straight strength, strength. versus difficulty... 18. Yes, it's going to be uh, heroic difficulty. Um, combined action, I think, is what I'll do with an effect of 10. Okay, that could work too, yeah. If it'll allow you to do a, a combined effect, uh, let's see, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, yeah. It should. All right, roll it. Oh, oh, nice. nice. <laughs> okay. What time? About the best I can do without spending possibilities. Okay. Not only do you get that uh, uh, crane collectively knocked over, okay, um, you also have managed to get rid of the Lactin Riders. You have managed to get rid of a significant number of, uh, of Adenos, but there are still quite a few Adenos out there, okay? So let's see, how am I going to do this? This this screen is getting crowded. Um, so how do I do this? The 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 beast riders. Okay, I need to roll a d6. Okay, so uh, hang on, I've got to change my notes a little bit. My handwritten notes. So carefully done. <sighs> okay. Ooh, that might make things a little bit difficult. Okay. Uh -oh. Okay, so that was step C. All right. Uh, now, it's still a... Uh, yep, and you were able to do step C on that round. Uh, so that's... You guys... Okay, here's the effect of, of round two. You guys were able to, um, you were able to knock over the crane. Uh, you got rid of the lactin riders for three rounds. Uh, you got rid of 36 of the Adenos, uh, warriors and scouts. Uh, and um, you managed to aim the tower, the, the, the crane tower that you just fell directly over to the building and um, a large panel it lands on a large panel of crystals that shatters into a thousand pieces now you have to get across step d is to get across and step d is not allowed this round so you'll be you'll be on the uh, uh you'll be on the crane getting onto it but crossing it is is going to take a little bit more okay so let's see okay so in the meantime, I get to mark off how many rounds it is. Okay, so that one. Okay, for that. All right, now, something that all of you notice, okay, or at least some of you notice and can, can point out to the others, is when the crash of the crystal takes place, uh... Any of you who would look down to see if it caused a stir among the Adenos find a whole bunch of heads 
<coughs> are turning your way as you're mounting the crane. Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> do, do they see us or could oh. we not like They don't see us, but they're looking in our direction. Oh no, they see you. Oh, they see mind, you. and they are <laughs> howling. Okay, they are absolutely howling. And over... I give them the double special salute. <laughs> <laughs> The How many stories up are we? <laughs> you are you are at the top of a, a six story building. Ah, so it's going to taller. I'd or throw a penny. Mythbuster <laughs> uh, uh, tested that it's non lethal. Uh, you can mm. still throw a penny; it just won't be made of of metal. <laughs> 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 Okay. <laughs> um, okay. So over the 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 cacophonous howling that is taking place on the street below, uh, an even louder voice sounds, and you see uh, one eye. He is obviously one eye because he's he, one of his eyes is large enough and whitish blue enough that you can see it from the roof. Okay, uh, and he screams an order and and probably two dozen more of them start towards the building okay so go. yeah you should go but you can't start anything yet next round yeah let's see what kind of card we get there we go you've got your d right there okay um and this is round two and they get a setback No, the Maybe oh the villain. Well, it, it is a dramatic right. round. Yeah, the villains get a setback. Hang on. Um, <laughs> so it's going to take them an extra round to get to you guys. They're kind of fighting amongst themselves to see who is going to get up on the building first. There's a lot of building here, but um, plus uh, the stairs are already collapsed. Yeah. Well, they don't use dead things anyway. They will climb up on the oh, outside of the building the on the oh, vines. Fine. Yeah, they're going to use the vines and the various trees that are there, um, which is why they're fighting amongst themselves. Okay, so that I'm sets them first. back. No, I'm first. I'm first. Get out of my way. I'll stab you with my rock shoot spear. Uh, or, you know, whatever it would sound like in a Dino. <laughs> you know, whatever that is. Um, <laughs> you, <laughs> man, you, you got to ham it up somehow, right? Um, so let's see, uh, you've got step D now you've knocked the crane down. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Step D is to get across. Okay. No, no, that's not how it was supposed to be. So you've completed step C. Step D is to get across and then push the crane down. Apparently they've made this a strength test. You know what? I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it an athletics test, but here's what's going to happen. If you have some experience points available, you can pump up your athletics by one if you want to, but we kind of have to work through that. Now, would anybody like to take me up on that offer? Uh, yes, actually, I would. Okay. Yeah. Peaches. Toma. Um, for, okay, everybody's got possibilities. If you don't have enough experience points to do that, I'll make a second offer, especially for Katsumi and, uh, Gordon, since I'm pretty sure neither of you, I, I, I'm pretty sure you guys spent all of your experience points and rightly so, which is why I am offering this. You can exchange one possibility for three experience points. Are you, do you wish to do that? Yes, I will do that. Okay, so that was Gordon. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, Darius. I'm writing down character names and saying real names. <laughs> okay, so uh, Chris, do you need that? Uh, need what? Uh, do you need to uh, lift up your athletics at all to be able to cross, or are you just going to try and telekinesis your way over there? Because it's quite Probably. a distance. Probably telekinesis assist my way over. Okay. So okay, so All you're right. gonna you're gonna roll athletics. 
Well, actually, I'm probably just going to roll telekinesis, yeah. I mean, I, I can I, keep concentrating train on it for as long as I need I'm for, for, like, what, a minute? Huh? Uh, well, actually, I think it's only three. Wait a minute. Hold on. I, th I think it's concentration, period. Yeah. Uh, so, let's see. Passing time, the duration, concentration. Yeah, duration is concentration. Yeah. So, as long as you roll well enough, you can do it. You can concentrate. Yeah, on. okay. Okay. Yeah, and just don't do anything else with it until I'm across. So. Okay, well, uh, and we'll see how far you get. In this particular instance, it's just outside of your 25-meter range. Okay, and you have to roll well enough to carry your weight. At the at least, uh, peaches already well, said wait yes. A minute. Huh? Uh, wait. Are you talking about what? Whose weight? Your My, weight. I mean, I can lift myself with telekinesis on the basic. E yeah, but here's the deal. Uh, what do you mean All on right. the basic? Uh, my mind is great enough to lift me. Um. Yes, uh, let's see, but there is a possibility that you could succeed at the telekinesis, but still roll a 9 or an 8, which would uh, actually give you a penalty to lifting your weight, which is 10. Actually, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. You see what I'm saying? Okay, let me see something here. Why did that do that? I shouldn't have done that. Okay, um... I've got to I've got to talk to the guys at Foundry and get them to uh, get them to change this stupid thing because it's it's just not it's just not working right the 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 editor for this okay there we go that's better so okay so you could you could succeed at telekinesis and still fail to lift your own weight so you got to be careful with that. Um, but we'll give it a shot anyway. Okay, so we've got you sorted out. Uh, got Peaches, Darius, uh, Rios. Did you want to up your athletics skill, or are you okay where you are? I think I should be all right where I am. What about Andon? Uh, I think his... Uh... Athletics should be better than mine, right? Uh, probably. Is it based on strength? It should be based on strength, yes. Uh, if you're not seeing that, I'll, I'll go through and look at the characters in a minute. For some reason, it's been cutting out the, the controlling attribute. Uh, so let's see. Yeah. Okay, so I'll check that out in just a minute. Um, Katsumi, do you want to increase your athletics by spending a possibility for th three experience points? Sure. Okay, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Do you want to reduce the the possibilities, or do you want me to? Already done. Okay. All right. Got it. And then Toma, I've already got you on the list. Okay. Yep. So, uh, um, Darius, did you already reduce your possibilities by I did. one? Okay. Thank you. Yes, he did. All right. Rock on. So, um. Let me get the character sheets open so that I can look and make sure everything's good. Okay. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, nope. You're on the wrong spot. There we go. That was Rios. Peaches, also on the wrong spot. Darius. Oh, what did I do? Oh, I know what I did. Chris and Andon. Now, let me look at skills. Okay, uh, athletics is based on strength. That's what it's supposed to be. But I didn't get you a total. Hold on just a minute. There has to be a total in there. Uh, what is his strength? 10. Okay. So, oh, no, perks. So, I forgot to put the base attribute in, in many of these. Uh, so, that's actually 11 for him. Okay, and close that. And close him. Uh... Yeah, and then nine. What's that? It's saying that my, it's saying that mine was a, would be a total of eight when my strength is nine. Okay, let me. I'm I'm, I'm checking through everybody, so let me uh, catch that in just a moment. So, um, okay, so with three experience points, um, uh, Darius, you can you can go up to two. At, well, no, I said one, right? So. That means I've got to do a modification for you. Uh, 
stats. Uh, ooh, very nice. Uh, yeah. Looks. Oh, for heaven's sake, where did it go? So that's actually going to be a 12 for you. And I need to go back and put two. Let's see. That's three there and two here for experience points. And let me close that. And then who is this? That's Peaches. She's got a strength of 11. So perk athletics. So that's a skill value of 12 for her. And then uh, let's see. Rios, didn't I just do yours? Nine. Oh, oh, I did uh, Andon. Nine athletics. That's going to be a 10. Okay, and close that. And then Toma, strength of 12. And then athletics. He's got one. That'll make it a 13. Okay, and this, oh, uh, Katsumi. Strength of 10, athletics, so that's going to be a 12. All right, so the difficulty number to get across and push the crane off is going to be a 14, okay, for each of you. You cannot work together on this, but if somebody fails, and somebody else does a really nice success or something like that, uh, I, I might allow the burning of a possibility to save. So, 16, okay. Uh, Toma, really good. So do I just roll my telekinesis straight? Yes, go ahead and roll your telekinesis straight. And uh, um, But again, remember, you, you've got to roll at least a 10. And... Uh... How many rounds has it been? Because uh, we should be putting cards in our pool. Uh, actually, Ooh. you're not in combat right now. You're still under dramatic okay. skill oh. resolution, and that does not require a combat. I uh, haven't exactly done anything that would gain us cards. Right. True. That's true. So I'm just having you leave them in your hands for now. Okay. Oh, outstanding success. Holy smokes. Oh, nice. So that's Perfect. that's a difference of 12. Uh, that I that is fire tonight yes yes you are so uh so you actually get plus two to your mind for that i okay. get a plus four for outstanding good success is plus two uh yes you're correct you are correct okay i have uh, a strength value of 14 so, okay so remy's gonna make it um uh of course um not remy Toma. Toma. And <laughs> I will get there. I will get there. Tonight's an off night for some. Hey, no, you're good. Hey, uh, you're good. It happens. Yeah. Chris definitely made it or, or will make it. It's actually going to take a total of four rounds to get there. So you're it will enter a combat phase in a moment. Okay. Uh okay, Gordon succeeded okay. by spinning a We're possibility. All rolling athletics right now? Everybody is going to roll athletics. So if you have not rolled athletics yet, go ahead. Okay, Catherine's going to make it. Or... I was, I was supposed gonna... to increase the difficulty on that, wasn't I? I'm sorry. I, um, I forgot to I forgot to adjust it to the difficulty 14. I'm you, sorry. You are correct. So, um, but that would still, that would be a failure. So would you like to just throw a possibility at that and, and roll, or do you have a card that you would like to expend? Uh, would a plus three card be enough to do it? No. No, you, that would put you one point short. Damn. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't want to fall first thing, so I'll spend a possibility for it. Okay. Ooh, very nice. Did you nice. already? Very, very nice. Okay, did you already reduce your possibility? I have not done so yet. Do you want me to? Would you please? Certainly. Uh, mm -hmm. There you go. And what about for Andon? Andon. Mm -hmm. There we go. 
difficulty 14. I'm remembering. Yay! <laughs> uh oh. Oh. Okay. Now you had an outstanding success. Okay. Now remember what I was telling you. If one of you rolls really well, you might be able to help the other one. So here's what I want you to do. Give me a straight strength roll, and we'll see if Andon falls to his death, or if you manage to save him. And let me see something Which first. Which one of us is doing the strength test? Well, uh, that's something that I was going to ask about. Actually, Con Chris cannot help on this. Standard, f standard, standard to outstanding. Okay, um... You I are a the. Card. I can make a grab and. Okay. Play, if that'll help. Okay, so uh, hang on just a second, Catherine. Go ahead and make a strength test. This is a different action entirely, and I know it goes against the rules, but rule of cool first. It, am I rolling the strength test or you, is Andon? You are rolling the strength test. Andon is falling to his doom. Okay. Standard diff? Uh, yeah, just leave it as a standard difficulty. Because that allows him to be up to 220 pounds. Look at that. Oh, nice. 18 versus a standard 10. You manage to catch Andon just as he is uh, just as he is getting out of your reach. Okay, and you manage to swing him up ahead of you. Uh, Peaches is ahead of you and manages to help catch him so he doesn't go over the other side. Well done. Uh, okay, so I believe that's all of you, isn't it? Wait a minute, where's Peaches? Where's no, Peaches? I've done it yet. Peaches has not rolled yet. Oh, Peaches! And you, you're, you're, you're ahead of them. You're the lead. <laughs> I'm in the very back here. Yeah. yeah well, I, I'm covering her six. And and the reason why I haven't is because one, um, I. I think I need you to spend the XP for and up my athletics from one to two. Okay. All right. So uh, you did not expend an XP for that yet? Not yet. Okay. So XP spent and uh, from one to two. So that'll leave you one. Hang on. Hang on. I didn't get everybody, did I? Nope. That's no, why I was waiting. Uh... Well, for heaven's sake. <sighs> okay. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to walk through this again. Um, Chris didn't need it. Peaches wants it. Uh, hang on just a second. Um, stats. So that's going to be 177 total. Um, and that's going to leave one. So that increases to 15. And then her athletics, which I need to come back here and edit. Strength 11. Uh, Wait, athletics um, is down here. Unspent should decrease. No, because you get three. Oh. Spending an XP gives you three, okay? Uh, for my weird way of doing things. So that's 12, 13. Oh, now why does it do that? 13. Okay. I did not catch everybody, and that's my fault. I apologize. Uh, Darius, did I take care of yours yet? I th I'm pretty yeah, sure I, I did. That. Okay. Yes, I'm that. Uh, Rios, uh, I, you didn't want to spend to do that, correct? Correct. Okay. Uh, Katsumi, um, you're, okay. Y you make it back to the group. Did you want to spend a possibility to get a bonus on that? Or did you already? I already did. Okay. Spend the possibility for the bonus. Okay. Let me let me see if if I actually increased it. Yes. Yes, I did. Okay. So you okay. are you are squared away there. Okay. Good. Yes. That puts you at two. Let me. So that's twelve. Yes. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, and then Toma, you wanted that. Did I get that for you yet? Did I want what? Uh, uh, you wanted to spend, um, oh, get over here. I, I didn't want to spend, um, a possibility. I wanted to spend XP points. Uh, oh, 
I thought that's what you just said is you were going to spend the possibility to get those XP points. Okay. Hang on just a minute. Oh, I'm so, not I'm not worried about the X at the XP. I'm good with my athletics. Yeah, you're really good with your athletics. Okay, hang on. I do have a request if you'll let me. What's that? Real quick. Oh, hey, it's that time, uh, isn't it? I I would like to play my transfer card to give one of my possibility to Darius so he at least has 3. Can can I do so real quick? You you can if you want, sure. Let me reduce my possibility to four, so that way Darius can at least have three, just in case things go pretty south. Okay, uh, Darius, would you like to adjust your sheet, or do you I want me to? Okay, thank you. I got it. Rock on, thank you. Okay, so... Uh, okay, so Toma already got across. Andon is saved. Uh, let's see, hold on just a minute. Katsumi, did you, you didn't roll yet. So, Katsumi, go ahead and roll. And what's and the difficulty? It is a 14. Don't we still have the spell going on that enhances our strength? Yes, yes. and that adds into it. Okay. Um, let's see. I'll play this quarter card if it'll help. Uh, no, because he needs four. Uh, no, and that only won't. gives a plus three. Hang on a second. Uh, Katsumi does have five possibility, though. Hey, hang on a second. Let me look at something. Okay. okay. So your athletics is at a 12, 8. So that's minus 2 because of the 8. Yeah, 12. Uh, it doesn't add it into it. It does not add it into it at all. What the heck? Okay. Well, that's okay. I'm going to square that away soon i hope so let's see so you actually rolled a 16 so you're two above what you needed i'm glad you brought that to my attention because for some reason it did not allow for the addition huh to athletics so so you made it okay so let me do that uh darius did you roll yet yes i, I did I, yes you did didn't you Okay, so standard success, that was a 16 versus 14 as well. Uh, actually, it would be, uh, now that I know about that, it would have been a 20 versus a 14. Um, okay, Peaches. Uh, oof, wait, hold on. Peaches, did you roll yet? You not yet. You did not. Go ahead, please. And um, we you won't. You subtract the XP. I, I did. I changed all of that back um, so that it, it uh, subtracted the XP. Oh, wait a minute. Did you increase to 2? Correct. Because I think I only, yeah. Okay, so I need to decrease that to 13 because it was at 15. <laughs> okay. I just want to be honest. Um, it, I also, appreciate that. Thank um, you. Uh, because we have climbing equipment, mm -hmm. I, I'm going to do a bit of a, a quick safety loop. Okay. Before I attempt it. So even if I fail, I might just dangle helplessly <laughs> like an idiot. Uh, but I won't go plummet stories to my death, perhaps. You you might just. <laughs> See, this, as the group leader, if you go first, this is why we need you to go first. So. Well, so that's that... why I had my supporter card and I'm, I, I'm boosting everybody up there, essentially, <laughs> is what I was doing. True. So I'd go last. And there's nobody to help boost me except this rope. So, <laughs> all right, go ahead. That's the uh, plus in athletics, right? So roll athletics. Correct. Athletics versus a target number of 14. Don't forget you have a plus four. All right. You don't so, have to uh, list it, but it's a good idea. Hard. Um, That's what I get for not thinking. Uh, let's see. Description. Uh, uh, Paul, how, uh, how far away from our building to the spire was it? Um, I'm going to say it's about 35 meters. Okay, the spire oh. actually sits in the basement of like four different buildings. Absolutely excellent. There you go. And you put in the plus four. Good. Oh, my gosh. Yep. Okay, then I'd probably be able to get there in two rounds because I can run what with telekinesis Co making my distance... 30 Correct. meters. Correct. I w I'm going to address that in just a minute. Uh, okay. You did that. Okay. Uh, Rios, you already rolled, yeah? 
Yeah. I believe you already, so, yes. Yes, you already rolled. So that's everybody. Okay. So, Chris, you do uh, rush ahead, and you are able to determine that the the little alcove area that you get into is clear of bad guys, uh, and it's clear of of most of the sharp debris and everything like that. And um, as the last of your friends get off of there, uh, they everybody turns around and starts pushing the the crane off, but. I get to determine a couple of things, and it, I, it's probably not going to matter. I get to do this uh, four times. Okay, a Dinos Warrior. Okay, now, I may only get to do this one time, okay? Uh, they don't have athletics. They don't, okay, so theirs is going to be strength versus a target number of 12, okay? And I'm going to roll each one individually so that I can determine if anybody falls off. If the first guy goes, the rest of them aren't going to make it. Okay, there's a total of four Adenos that may be able to make it into that pocket in the building before you guys get the crane down. Okay, so first one. Oh, 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 oh that's 38. Oh, oh, oh. Holy smokes on a rope. Okay, he's able to get the I got second. I my hammer ready. He even if the second guy doesn't make it, he's able to get him in with him. So I'm gonna do the third guy. Okay, oh and God. that's not oh what no. I was counting on, by the way. Okay, <laughs> that's a failure. Okay, so here's I'm I'm just gonna kind of explain this and have you guys tell me a little story about what you do about it. Two of the four Adinos who were able to climb on the crane right behind you guys are able to get into that alcove. I'm not even going to have you do dice rolls on this. What do you do to them? I'm going to start at the bottom with Rios. Oh. Or, well, I actually, let's keep it the way it's been. I'm going to start at the bottom oh. with Remington. Tomislav. Okay. Well, I've already got my hammer pulled out to try and knock down the crane. Mm -hmm. I'm going to rush up there and try to at least knock one of them outside of that hole to where they fall to the ground. Okay. All right. Uh, hold on to that thought. Katsumi? Yep. Are they in front of us? Do I understand correctly? Uh, they're basically in front. Well, they actually kind of would have had to jump down amongst you to keep you from pushing the crane off in time so that their other friends could get there, but you push the crane off in time anyway, so the last two actually plummet to their deaths, and there were, the Lacton are coming back, and there were other um, scouts and whatnot who were climbing on top of the building. So I'm trying to get a feel for what this scene looks like. So they would have dropped down amongst uh, all of you, uh, and Is there one near me? Sure. Does he have his eyes on me, or is his back turned to me? Uh, he he's got his eyes on a lot of the group. He's he's getting ready to start swinging his claws around. So, are you asking if he is looking at you specifically? No, he is not. Would he be looking at you specifically if you went to shove a a, a a katana in his belly? Yes. And we're still on our on the crane making our way no. over him. I understand mm -hmm. that part correct. No, you are in the alcove at the corner of well, actually at the middle of the building where you broke where where the crane broke the uh, the crystals. Okay. You guys actually made it into the building, all of you, and started pushing on the crane to get it off of the building, which you've already succeeded at, but I'm trying to add a little bit of drama to this. So there's no dice rolls that are going to go on with this. I'm just trying to get a story. Is there anyone uh, in immediate danger from one of these uh, Dinos? Yes. yes. All of you. All of us. <laughs> <laughs> Every single one of us. Yeah, they've they've jumped out in they've jumped down in your midst. Obviously, they can only really attack one person at a time unless they multi-target. Uh, they do have a, a a perk that allows them to ignore the first two points of multi-targeting penalty. So literally, they could attack all of you. Since I couldn't really uh, use the ultimate. Oh wait, sorry, never mind. Never mind. Level. 
Okay, hold hold on just a second. Um, uh, uh, Katsumi, what are you saying? Since they've jumped down in the middle of us and they don't necessarily have their eyes on me, I will actually cast um, one of my spells. Bear with me here. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the name of it, so I'm just going to it. I'm going to cast my enhance on dexterity. Okay. For me and the group would be what I would do. Okay. All right. So we've got a hammer going into the face of one of them. You're enhancing uh, everybody for dexterity. So that'll actually make things easier for anybody who's trying to hit to hit. Um, yeah. Okay. Good idea. Rios. Yes. What are you trying to do? There's there's two of these bad guys that have made it into the building as you guys are finishing pushing the crane off of it so that nobody else can cross. Uh, I remember Thomas Love lectured me for not hiding behind him while he does the damage earlier, so I go and hide behind Thomas Love. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. Well, what about Andon? He's probably uh, drawing his sword, preparing for a fight. Okay. So he steps back, draws his saber, and gets ready to run one of these Adenos through. Got it. Um, Darius? Taste Irish steel, beast. And I pull my sword. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, this nice. is going to be fun. Peaches? Uh, same thing. My my, uh, I'll I'll try drawing my axe and and taking a you know getting ready to bum rush the first one out the alcove I can get the chance to swing at. Axe to the head series move. Okay. Yes. Um, then Chris. You were the first one in the area. <laughs> well, I'm probably just going to give them a double special salute and huh. say, have a great effing day and use telekinesis to push them off the elf clove. That's what I was <laughs> thinking. That's what I was thinking was going to happen. Okay, so the story is this. Three of you uh, run them through or, or chop them. One of you smashes uh, one of the Adenos in the face. Um, uh, all of you feel a bit faster as you're doing it. And then... Um, uh, Chris, oh, Russia, psychic energy just goes vroom, that's right into the two Adinos, and they just launch out, probably knocking off the last bit of the crane, mm -hmm. like they're tied up into it as it finally just slips off and goes six stories down. Not bad, I like it. Yeah. Okay, as they're falling and screaming, I say, Do stretchy, which means see ya. <laughs> 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 okay. Come on. More than one miners. More than one miners. <laughs> <laughs> Thus ends scene two, the lost Ooh. spire. Now, cards. Okay. Let me uh, let me get this open. Uh huh. Sure. Advancement and completion. And I'm gonna show everybody. Uh, show all players. And then we are ending a scene. So click on ending a scene in the uh, table of contents at the left. All right. All players move. Okay, you didn't have any pool cards to move back in, so we're not going to worry about that. Step two, anyone with more than four cards in their hand, unless you have a perk that allows it, uh, have to discard down to four. I don't think any of you have that problem. Um, players with a hand of less than four cards draw up to a total of four cards. So go ahead and do that if you would, please. I already got mine. Okay. Okay. Is that all the is that all the people that needed cards? Everyone has four four de uh, destiny cards. I don't, but my system is running kind of clunky at the moment. No worries. We'll, no worries. Uh, go ahead and draw it when you're able to. Okay, or them, whatever it is. Anybody else? Okay. Uh, there you go. Now, if you have one card that you do not like, you are welcome to discard that one card and draw a new one. Okay. Yeah, we don't need step A anymore. That's for certain. And the one I got to replace it is much better. 
Oh, Remy. That is such a bad idea. I've already got one. Oh, well, why didn't you trade it with somebody else? Um, I didn't think about it. <laughs> dork. Uh, <laughs> I am. <laughs> okay. Uh, anybody else have a card they want to discard because they don't like it? Just that one. Just one card. Okay. Then, let me prepare this here. Scene three. Oh, I'm sorry. We just finished Manhattan Skyline. That was scene two. Scene three is the Lost Spire. It's a dramatic scene. Uh, inside the structure, lines of crystal pulse slowly between blue and red, tracing patterns almost like a circuit board. The pulses seem to be leading somewhere, traveling inward and downward. A voice emanates from the gem-encrusted walls, repeating the same message uh, as you are descending the tower. There's only really one way to go, and that in this Please case... Please don't be intruder alert. Please don't be intruder alert. Please don't be intruder alert. <laughs> uh, each, don't you dare take each of you hears the voice speaking in your own native tongue. We are lost, crushed by the savage world of Talk to Care. Its warlord, Barak Ka, is a possibility raider, a dreadful high lord who invades other realities. He sucks the possibility energy from his victims in their lands. We do not know, uh, we do not know what end these invasions serve. All we gleaned was a single word, Torg. This spire is the last remnant of Ukon, a world of great scientific advancement, reason, and peace. We were invaded by the living land. This outpost is where we made our last stand. We failed. We used what, what we learned of possibility energy to transmit our knowledge, our art, the very essence of our people away from the living land. So little was saved. Uh, hopefully someday, after the storm, explorers will hear this message and find our remains below. If a possibility that... raider hears these words, beware. All our power courses through our last guardian. While the storms still rage, it will destroy any intruder. If instead you battle against the High Lords, remember Ukon, for her daughters and sons can do so no longer. The pulses lead downward into winding corridors. There are other doorways along the passages, all overgrown and encrusted with jagged translucent rock. As, the, as you descend, you feel a growing power below you, crackling with possibility energy. You're certain it has to be an eternity shard. Finally, you descend into a large chamber, which must be at or below ground level, you reason. The passage opens into a gallery above the chamber, with stairs on either side leading down to the ground below. The floor of the chamber is covered in rubble, some seemingly from the spire, much of it recognizable as from Manhattan ruins. Now, let me, uh, we're going to preload the scene, and then I'm going to activate it. Now, did I forget? And What's that? It just said I had no token with vision on this scene. That is correct. I forgot to drag out tokens. My fault. Sorry. Uh, okay. Dork. Yeah. Dork. Okay, so who was leading? Is that Peaches? That would be Peaches. Are you, now, wait a minute. Peaches, are you okay. sure that's you? <laughs> well, maybe. All I know is that I'm in the back, always covering the sticks. Sorry, I was muted and I was talking away. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. I I have my flashlight if it's dark. Or, it, or is it? It is Ooh. not. Ooh. Okay, good. Okay. So, uh, so who, who would come immediately after Peaches? Peaches well, with since, shotgun ready. Since Thomas got the back, I'll follow the leader. Okay. All right. So kind of fanning out a little bit. That was Darius, yeah? Yes. Okay. Kind of following in the back here. Uh, hello. Oh, there we go. And let me get you turned around. Peaches, I've got you. I've got your, uh, your vision incorrect. Okay. Vision. Oh, duh. Okay, update token. I got gotcha. you. Let me open this up. <sighs> I, token. I do want to say real quick, this map looks awesome. Oh, you're already seeing it, huh? Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, the character's been put down, so. 
I'll probably forget by next time we play, though. <laughs> uh, well, hang, hang on just a minute. I'm I'm trying to get. Well, that's not going to work. Okay, uh, Peaches, I'm going to have to modify for permanent your um, your vision a little bit later. Okay, who comes after Darius or beside? I can go next, sure. Okay, so let's see. And and it is with me. Okay, and let me get these adjusted. See yours too. It's weird. I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to adjust your vision. It was on mute. Sorry. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right. Uh, I'll adjust vision by next week and get all of you correct. Uh, so, Katsumi, where did you want to go? We're here on the stairs, essentially, right? Correct. That's right. Well, if it is at all possible, since it wouldn't be all that far, mm -hmm. I would like to be roughly right about there. Well, you so guys I are have... just coming down these stairs. And we're determining the order of wh of how we came down the stairs. Yeah, that, that's all we're doing right now. Oh, okay. I'll go right there. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Toma, you're in the back, yeah? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay, this is temporary. Um, until I figure out everybody else's placement. So, let's see. Andon. You got to too fast. Slow down. Uh, okay, so Chris, it <laughs> looks like you're... Metal. Chris, it looks like you're the last, uh, last one to place. Uh, uh right, or uh, there, or wait, do I drag my token? Try and drag your token out, sure. If it allows you to drag your token out, that's great. Hey, look yeah, at that. There. Hey, from now on, I'll have you guys drag out your own tokens. Wait for me, you guys are too fast. <laughs> okay, so uh, Remy, you can actually move your token uh, basically <laughs> where you would place it, but if you're being towards the back, you know. Yeah, just like right behind Chris is good. Now, just because all of your tokens are in a line right there does not necessarily <laughs> mean you're right there in a line, okay? So oh, we can't, so we can't have a cha-cha going down the stairs? I'm sure, <laughs> sure. <laughs> beatings. <laughs> there will be beatings, okay? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Sorry, master. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, you're pretty good at that. Um, oh, it took a while. Okay, so directly across from where you are is a similar platform. Okay, but it's at ground level. And you see all kinds of crystal, like this red and blue crystal in here. You see it actually outside the building. But you see a bunch of shadows, shadowy figures, large shadowy Adenos type figures uh, on the other side. And they are working with picks and tools and all kinds of stuff like that. So uh, it's blocked off by cracked mineral. Uh, oh, and you've got a couple of places that are actually blocked off by, by minerals. Uh, this over here, you can see where there's some kind of an exit from here like it was maybe a subway or something like that you see a broken tube actually sticking out over here with some uh with some crystals in it um and then you see some small exits in the corners over here but they're all blocked up and covered by the crystals now the crystals are, are fairly translucent so you can see well however you see um the adenos over here, okay, uh, and there's crystal on the outside of the building. Okay. All right, uh, let's see. Adinos hammer at the stone furiously, and the cracks are growing wider by the moment. Um, behind them is a larger uh, individual. You can only presume that this is going to be one eye. Uh, let's see. Down below the underground exits to the tunnels at Manhattan sewers and even the subway. All these passages are currently covered in walls of crystal. Uh, I need all of you... Well, you're not there yet, so I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, so let me zoom in here. Now, are all of you okay with cutting it out for tonight? Yeah, I'd be okay with that. Yeah, yeah we do have work in the morning. Yeah, unfortunately, that stupid, silly work thing. Um, work fun, and fun. school and real life and yep, yep. responsibilities. 
stupid adulting. Who invented it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I know how I'm going to run this, uh, start this up next week. So, uh, as be, before I cut it out for the night, as you are uh, preparing to move forward or to the sides to kind of explore where you're going. Uh, to kind of descend into this large area down here, uh, you hear some of the uh, some of the crystals shatter on the opposite side, and an Adenos pokes his head through. Okay, uh, so next week it's probably all going to be combat. Okay, uh, we'll get a, a fair start on everything and get things moving. Now, there's a couple of surprises that will come up for sure, um, uh, but but we'll go from there. Um, hopefully, you guys aren't bored with combat. I know that it takes a while, but there's not much I can do about that. So, fair enough. Yep, gotcha. I think it's fair. Okay, and this is this is for the end of the adventure. So you know, hopefully it'll only take two or three rounds, and and then we'll be done, and then we can take the break the next Sunday for the Super Bowl. But also because I'm still prepping for that final adventure, I've got three scenes remaining to write. So uh, be thinking about what you want to do for next Sunday, and um, good night to anybody who watches this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good night. Good All right. night. All right. Good night, my friends. Take it easy. Have a great week. You, you too. too. I had fun. Good. I'm glad yeah, that you did. That's fantastic. Good. I'm looking forward to seeing you next week. That is that is the best thing you can tell a GM is that you had fun. So. No, I had fun as well. Good. That was great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Not that I'm seeking for that, but you know, it's nice. <laughs> Keep, them coming. Keep them coming. Your character may live that way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good night, my friends. I'm going to go ahead and shut this thing down now. <laughs>